Hello, this is Ronan and Morgan. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to produce open XML documents in a background task. Let's use a template code and we'll uh, produce uh, 200 files and run the program in background. Let's choose it immediately. Run. Immediate run and save the variant. Now, let's go and check the SM37 monitor to check out for the job. <coughs> Now we see the active job running and it's finished. It's uh, run about uh, 93, 93 seconds and we will go to the server and we can see that we have here we have here <coughs> 200 files. Let's check some of them and we'll open them on the on the station, on the workstation. As for example. And I copy it to the C directory to my PC. And now we will go to the PC and check the files. These are some of the files. I check them. You see here, we see a sales document, a net value, and a customer purchase order. Here's a, a small uh, table of also data, the items data. And close it. And now we are going to run. I'm going to run. A program that reads the file content. It reads the file content from the server itself as we see it here on this on this server it's going to read the file contents but only for the three content controls that can be changed. So we are going to to read the value of this content control this is the second one and the third one. And if we go to the file itself and we look at the design mode and we see we have here the VBLAN, NetWR and the BSTNK fields as in the sub-repository. We'll close it and we go again to read it and I will run the program. Let's wait for the program to finish. As we see, these are the files. It takes, takes a little more to run the read of the files than to create them. And we see here that we have the sales document, the net value, and the purchase order number, as in the file itself. If we will go to one of the file to see if these are if these are the real values we go to the seventh and we see we have sales order number ended with nine seven five we go up to here and we check for the nine seven five it's on the same order Nine seven five, and we see here net value of thirty two seven seven, thirty two seven seven eight, and DG something, thirty two seven seven eight, and DG something ended with four. We we'll look again inside the file. DG something ended before. 
So in this screencast we learn how to run the OpenXML creation in background task, watch the job running, and then read the content from the server. That's all for today. Thank you very much.